catch that trip, because that's a really important part of what I'm about to talk about. Um, so I'm Christina Tozzi. I am the pastry chef and owner and founder of Momofuku Milk Bar. I am a crazy dessert person. Um, I love to eat dessert. I love to make dessert. I love to talk about dessert. I love to share dessert. I was a home baker long before I decided to become a pastry chef by profession. I decided that I, just in my fiercely competitive spirit and loving dessert so much, that I'd go to New York City, the most competitive place you could get into, um, in the most brutal kitchens, and I would attend culinary school and become a pastry chef. But being a pastry chef back then was being the pastry chef in a really fancy restaurant, in a four-star restaurant. So I moved to New York, I went to culinary school, and I fiercely, competitively worked my way into the most competitive kitchens. And I realized as I was making my way to the top that, you know, I was the person that got to make the really fancy cocoa nib twill and place it just so on the plate of this, like, single origin chocolate fondant with passion fruit coulis when really I was just like, oh my god, I can't wait to get home to put that like knob of oatmeal cookie dough in the microwave for 30 seconds and just eat it like gooey and halfway melted in my pajamas. <laughs> and so I sort of stepped back and I had to really think about what that was and why I, was, why I had chosen to put myself where I had chosen to put myself. Dave and I met, and obviously for really strange reasons, we get along, we see eye to eye for no specific reason other than we sort of just are similar people and parallel paths. I loved that Momofuku had the spirit about it and that it was comfortably human and it was competitive and all of these other parts of me that made so much sense. I was a little scarred from the fancy pastry kitchen, so I started working for Dave in this completely unpastry related capacity. I was helping do office work and operational stuff. And somehow I wedged myself into the kitchen or Dave forced me into the kitchen knowing that I had pastry background, but also knowing that there weren't desserts on any of the Mama Food restaurant menus. I found myself sort of back in this place where I was like, oh man, I'm back in the kitchen. And not only am I back in a kitchen, I need to make desserts for these menus that anything could go on the menu. So I thought, all right, I'm gonna just pool all the people I work with, people whose palates I trust, people whose opinion and approach to food I trust. I'm just gonna ask them what their favorite dessert is at a restaurant, and maybe that'll just at least put me on a path. So I asked, what's your favorite dessert? What? I was asking the fanciest people I knew, thinking that if I was gonna make desserts for a restaurant, I was gonna have to really make these really, really fancy desserts, losing sort of my trajectory. So if I ask you guys, what are your favorite desserts? Will you just shout, shout a few out? It could be anything. Ice cream, oh, chocolate chip cookies, ice cream, right. So guess what I got from these guys? The same thing. Banana cream pie, lemon poppy seed cake, McDonald's fried apple pie. And I'm like, you are the culinary pedigree and that's what you got for me for dessert? <laughs> like that's, oh my God, I'm in trouble. Then I realized that I was trying too hard again. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, well, I know this because I work at Momofuku. Good food is good food. It doesn't have to come with pretense. It doesn't have to be anything. It just has to be something that makes a connection with you. And all of a sudden being a home baker first was something that I wasn't trying to steer away from and I wasn't trying to honor the sort of fancy culinary education that I had. It was about combining both of those things. Um, so I made some desserts and put them on the menu and it went pretty well and then I opened Milk Bar. For me it's about giving food back in a really simple comprehensible vehicle that when you see it you want to eat it. From a user standpoint you know that it looks good, you know that it's going to taste good the second you bite into it, you know it's delicious and that's all you need to do from a consumer standpoint. Well, my job is, is to take the inspiration and deconstruct it and figure out how I'm going to put all my skill and expertise, whether it's from the home baker in me or the culinary professional in me, and do all of the toiling and troubling of how I'm gonna get it back to you in the most simple, recognizable, user-friendly, and delicious um, manner. Some of the most popular items at Milk Bar are as follows. Cereal milk is what's left in the bowl after you eat all the cereal out of it. And we swirl it up into a soft serve ice cream and we put it into every single thing that we can think of. Another big popular milk bar item is called crack pie. 
Um, it has a toasted oat crust and a gooey butter filling. And for those of you that are familiar with the St. Louis gooey butter cake, it's also an homage to that, which is a big staple in my childhood. The compost cookie. No one makes a better chocolate chip cookie than my grandma. That's all there is to it. And no matter how great of a pastry chef I am, there's no way I know how to make a chocolate chip cookie that's better than your favorite chocolate chip cookie because you already have that relationship with it. So I was like, well, we're going to make cookies. People love cookies. But we're not going to make a chocolate chip cookie because that's dumb. Why would I make something that already exists and that people already love in their own right? So we have the compost cookie. It has pretzels, potato chips, oats, chocolate chips, butterscotch chips, graham crackers, and coffee grounds. And then we make layer cakes. And the chocolate chip cake is passion fruit, coffee, and chocolate, which is like a really fancy pastry chef triumvirate of flavors that I was like, I'm going to, instead of being fancy with it, I want to bring it down into this funny little layer cake. And we build the cake in this very sort of constructive architectural way because that's what pastry chefs do. That's what you're trained to do as a pastry chef. But rather than hide all of the fillings and these textures and layers that we dream up, we keep the outside of the cake exposed so that you can tell how much time and effort and work goes into it. We eat with our eyes before we eat with our forks or our hands. <laughs> and so we have this sort of elaborate process of layering up this chocolate chip layer cake. We make 14 different flavors of layer cake and every single one of them has a really simple starting point. Every single one of our desserts has a really simple starting point, whether it's a chocolate chip cookie, whether it is um, a birthday cake, whether it's ice cream. Uh, whether it's cereal milk ice cream, and that is sort of my approach on Momofuku terms and on my own terms of how I design desserts that steal the show. <laughs>